Good evening, everyone. Phil here, and welcome to The Daily Wrap for what was Tuesday, the 10th of October, 2023. Uh, a day that, for some things, was really good. For other things, was kind of not so good. Um, so kind of a mix for me. Uh, overall, I mean, I actually enjoyed today. Uh, but the thing is, I don't know if the viewers really did overall. I guess the real question is, what's your take? Right and and what really happened and allow me to explain. Let's go through the recap of what happened today, so you kind of know what I'm getting at. Okay, first of all, I am very pleased to report that today we had the really first full day of autumn weather. It was cloudy and rainy all day. It was incredibly cool. There was a nice air and breeze coming in through this room all day long. Not at one point did I ever feel uncomfortable or hot or sweaty. That was a great thing. Even playing Street Fighter Six. And that's an accomplishment. Because let me tell you, I get really heated with adrenaline and everything when I play Street Fighter VI. But it was good. And I was very pleased at that because it's been months and months where I've been sweating it out here. And finally, it seems like that insanely hot weather is over. And it was so cool. I'm like, wow, this is so good that if it maintains this temperature, say, into, into next week, I'll have to change my wardrobe. I'll have to change. No more shorts. I'll have to wear, you know, like pants. No more T-shirts or long or short sleeve like summer shirts i'll have to start wearing like long sleeve shirts for the fall which i'm totally okay with you guys have liked my wardrobe changes this year correct um so you want to see something a little different want to see me a nice little button down shirts long sleeves or you know some maybe like little light sweaters and stuff like that i have that stuff and i can wear that on stream for variety if you guys want to see it. it's a totally different wardrobe basically you never even really see me in. so i'm down for that and i'm happy that the weather cooled today that was definitely a huge positive for me at least I don't know if it came through in anything I did today, but man, it was very nice for me. Um, on today's Level 1 podcast, we recapped yesterday's conclusion streams of both Resident Evil 4 Remake's DLC Separate Ways as well as Lies of P, which I love both games, so it was great, and uh, talked about some gaming news, some really interesting gaming news that happened, so it was a pretty good podcast. First stream today was the first of a series of big focused streams on Assassin's Creed Mirage. And if you're wondering, why am I going to be playing it so much? I played it on Friday. I played it on Saturday. I played it today. I'm playing it tomorrow. I'm playing it Friday. I'm playing it Saturday. Like, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. <clears throat> That's a lot of Assassin's Creed Mirage. Why are you focusing in on one game so much? It's very simple. We've got four new releases that I'll be playing in the next two weeks. Sonic Superstars, Super Mario Wonder, Spider-Man 2, and Alan Wake 2. And with those coming, I can't have lingering playthroughs. So I need to focus on the much shorter Assassin's Creed Mirage, which is only around 20 hours long by all reports, and play the heck out of it in this coming week, so that way we can basically be ready to wrap it up in time for those games, you see? So that's why I'm playing so much of it. Uh, today, I loved the game. It got better, I, I feel. The plot is heating up. We went to a whole different area of the map and a whole new plot line investigating this scholars group basically people who were like doing all this research and the research essentially was about guess what all the things that we know from the previous assassin's creed games like the artifacts and uh things about the human body and these alien creatures that look like humans that have been kind of controlling humanity all along so this these scholars of the order know about this and you start uncovering stuff like that and you're like well i don't really want to know about it but i want to stop these scholars because the scholars are doing horrible experiments and things to people uh, in, in tandem with all of this, you know, study. And so it was pretty cool hunting down the target. This target had zero combat. You had to do all stealth and kind of disguises and stuff in order to kill the target. And it was pretty different from the first one and pretty interesting. Uh, still a lot of stealth and I'm actually getting better at it. Plus I have new abilities like the smoke bomb now that's super useful. So had a great time with it. Now, funny thing. The stream attendance for Assassin's Creed Mirage is not great. This was the third stream, so we're like nine hours in. The stream attendance is actually quite low. But for the people who are showing up, I think they're enjoying the game. You know, every stream I've done of the game so far has had pretty good support. The crowd seems to be, you know, having a good time, hanging out with me, having a good conversation. And that's what it's all about. So even though this isn't really appealing to a giant group of people, which I didn't think it would, um, it's still a fun playthrough and it's doing well. For the, the, the two to 300 people who are showing up to the streams, they're enjoying it. So I'm down for that. Sounds good for me. Can't wait to play more tomorrow and continuing on, you know, this week to finish it up. Now, tonight's late stream really is what threw me for a loop. And here's why. First of all, originally tonight was supposed to be more of the Modern Warfare 3 beta. That's what I wanted to do. But we found out 
The Modern Warfare 3 beta ended today at 10 a.m. I know that sounds really weird because it definitely is. Why would they end the beta at 10 a.m.? I've never heard of a beta ending in the morning like that, but it did. So I was not able to play more Modern Warfare 3. And I said, well, I mean, what else could we easily do on the fly? We could do more Starfield, but Starfield is narrative-based. And being that I hadn't planned for a Starfield stream tonight, I kind of felt like that wouldn't be right to the people who like to be there for the ongoing narrative of Starfield. They might miss it and be upset. So I said, instead, let's just do an impromptu Street Fighter Six stream. Originally, I wasn't going to do that, but let's do it. And you know what? For variety purposes, you know, I now played with Blanca three times at Master Rank. Let's do Lily instead. <clears throat> now, going into this stream, I did not have high expectations. I even told everyone this. I said, listen, number one, Lily is a bottom tier character. Number two, I haven't used Lily now in weeks, if you remember. I've been playing with Blanca for the last week and a half. Before that, it was two streams of Aki. So really, it's been like two, three weeks since I even used Lily. And now I'm actually going to be playing with her at master level for the first time. And you know what's going to happen. People are going to be using their online patterns. They're going to be picking all top tier characters. It's going to be very rough going to get any kind of wins with Lily. I knew that. And I knew that likely this stream tonight was going to be a huge losing stream. Uh, but maybe I would get a little better with the character, right? Maybe I'd learn some matchups a little better because instead of playing a lot of the big scrubs who you have to play to, to get to master, at least the people here would have a general idea of what they're doing and hopefully, you know, I, I would do better uh, or at least learn. So what happened tonight was a mix. When I started playing, I was losing a lot and I noticed, yeah, it felt like these matches, I was underwater. I was like very sluggish and I was like, is it me? Is it the game? I couldn't figure it out, but everything I did felt like it was very delayed. And a lot of moves dropped tonight as well. And, you know, I'm in the middle of matches where I'm just going to do a combo and, oops, super does come out. Well, I lose now. Or, oh, perfect, let's do level two super. It's going to take them right out of the air, giant damage, win the match. I get nothing. She just stands there like this. So it doesn't, she doesn't even move. It's one thing if, like, she had moved. She just stands there like this. Like, did you not hear and see me do the input on the joystick? A lot of that happened tonight. It's fucking shitty Neko. I'm sorry. It's Rollback Neko. Rollback Neko does this all the time, but no one wants to talk about it. Everyone loves it. Yeah, that's what happens. So, <clears throat> basically, a lot of issues tonight. Execution issues with Lily. Now, did I lose every match? No, but I lost the majority of them. And I knew that was happening. I mean, I lost like 200-some points of, of Master. I think I'm at like 1,330 or something like that. Terrible. I lost a ton of points. And it sucks because a lot of the matches were close and they were good. And then you miss the one move, you lose it, right? The thing is, I'm not raging anymore. Like, I know that, you know, a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago, I was getting very upset. I I'm not going to get angry at this game anymore because I know why I'm losing. Is the difference between you've been completely outplayed and, and, you know, oh my God, you're dominated by something you've never seen before. I did see some of that tonight. I saw a few things. I was like, oh, I did not realize that this works or that works because, you know, some people are playing at a better level at master level. But for the most part, it was execution issues. And like, well, why get upset at that? It's just, you got to accept it. If you're going to play games, you're going to have the shitty issue with the netcode and just accept it and move on, right? But here's what happened. Started off the stream and all the regulars got upset because they're like, dude, you're just losing constantly. I was like, yeah, that's, that's what's going to happen. I'm playing one of the worst characters in the game at master rank. I'm going to lose constantly. Maybe it's going to take maybe a few sessions even until I get my bearings with this character at master rank. I might have to mix it up and play a little differently. And once I do, and maybe I'll get my muscle memory a little better or whatever, and my execution a little better, then I'll start to win again. This is not Blanca. Blanca is mid to high tier. And yeah, after that first stream, I did really poorly. But after that, I kind of recovered, right? And then, uh, you know, I'm going to do better with Blanca overall. He's got more tools. He does more damage. It's just, Lily's a different animal entirely, right? But I think a lot of people were surprised by that. They thought I was going to, like, dominate tonight. I was like, I never expected that to happen. So here's what happened. Twofold. Number one, my regulars got upset and were like, man, it sucks. We don't like to see you lose constantly. I'm, like, I'm sorry. I wish I could do better, but, you know, it is what it is for now. Maybe in time I'll get better, but I'm, I'm not going to miraculously level up tonight and do it all in one session. At the same time, trolls came to the stream because they got word that Phil's losing in Street Fighter, guys. Oh, shit. Now we can say that he sucks in Street Fighter again. N no, you can't. But they're that stupid that they think they can so they rush to the stream. All of a sudden, the viewership skyrockets. All these fucking troll accounts, sock accounts coming to the chat. They're saying nasty things. And, of course, they only say it when I'm playing. Because when I'm not playing, they know I look at the chat. They should clam the fuck up. They only talk shit when I'm actually playing the game because they're assholes, right? Overall, even though I lost an insane amount. Like, I'm not kidding. I probably lost 
75% of the time tonight, I bet. I would bet, if you look at the statistics, that's what it's going to be. It's going to be like 75% losses would be my guess. <clears throat> and even though that's the case, I still didn't have a bad time. There were good close matches. There was some fun stuff. I feel like I will get better with the character if I play more at Master. But, inexplicably, support was insanely bad. I think I got one super chat from a legit person, two super chats from trolls, and two tips all night totaling like 12 bucks. That was the whole stream. Two and a half hours. I even stayed half an hour later. And that was it. Now, this makes me wonder what's going on. Is it a bad night? Is it night streams in general? Was it the game? Was it because I was losing a lot with Lily? Um, was it because the stream was an impromptu stream and actually originally was supposed to be Modern Warfare 3? That's what I had wanted. And then I couldn't play it. And a sudden change on the fly people weren't happy with. You know, I don't know. I honestly can't answer the question. Um, I'm not sure what the cause was. Even the people on the stream didn't know why there was no support for it. Um, yeah, and the thing is, the same thing happened two nights ago with Modern Warfare 3. I was having a blast. I was having a ton of fun playing the Modern Warfare 3 beta, and the support was almost non-existent that night too, pretty much similar. Actually, that, that stream, if you can believe it, was better than this one when it came to support. Um... So I don't know what's going on. I don't know if this is a pattern with late streams. Because when I played Lives of P, there was always support. Um, Friday night fights, there's usually support. So I don't necessarily think it's just Street Fighter. Hell, I'll be honest, even playing Starfield, those streams did way better than tonight's stream and the Modern Warfare stream from this week. So, you know, these are questions I have to pose. Let me put it this way. I'm not upset. Today's earlier stream went really well. So it's not a big deal. But I want to ask my audience, what happened? Like, is there a reason why now there's been two streams this week one of modern warfare 3 and one of street fighter 6 that had really bad support could it be that people are tired of multiplayer that you know used to be that i wasn't playing multiplayer games often and now i've been playing street fighter 6 for what five months so maybe people are all burnt out on on multiplayer in general so they don't care about street fighter they don't care about modern warfare they'd make me maybe rather see me focus in on more narrative based games would you like to see more starfield instead of street fighter 6 i i can do that I'd be okay with that, but I need feedback. I need answers because I don't have them all, you know? All I can do is guess, you know? And I don't really know. Could it be that people were just upset that I was losing so much? Maybe, but I can't really help that. That's not a quick fix. That's something that would take multiple sessions and time to try to get better with this character at the master level and then maybe hang better. You know, look what happened with Blanca. Even the first session with Blanca, I didn't do well, but then I got progressively better, and now i am actually got a big winning record with Blanca, right? So, I don't know. I'm not sure what to do, because here's the other conundrum on this. Uh, I have multiple Street Fighter streams lined up for the week, okay? Tomorrow is my final streaming day of the week, and we got more Assassin's Creed Mirage on the day stream, and then we've got uh, Street Fighter on the late stream, and I was either going to do more Lily or more Blanca. Now I'm kind of leaning towards more Blanca, because it seemed like people were so upset with how poorly I did with Lily, maybe they want to see me get some wins, so maybe I should do Blanca tomorrow, right? I'm okay with that, if that's what people want, but is that what people want? You know, Friday, I'm off Thursday. Friday also is supposed to be Assassin's Creed Mirage and Friday Night Fights, which is my weekly scheduled Street Fighter stream. Uh, we are taking a break from Street Fighter for several days after that because uh, so, uh, Saturday night, I'd like to do the Modern Warfare 3 beta, which is now open, will be open on Xbox over that weekend. And Sunday night, I want to bring back Starfield into the mix, so we're doing more Starfield. So next week, there will be less Street Fighter in the rotation regardless. But yeah, I'm actually confused, and I like your feedback. All right, and no, it's again. I'm not upset. I actually had a good day today. I had a great day with all the gameplay. The overall, when you add up and tally up all the support, it was good. I'm just wondering what happened now with a Street Fighter stream like this. I thought people were super pumped and excited for the master level gameplay, so I, I was taken aback that it was dead. I was like, wow, there's nothing to shout out, really. There's nothing going on over here. Like, okay. And I did notice the troll element. That's another thing, too. Whenever you notice a stream when there's not a lot of support, here come the trolls. They start showing up, and <laughs> they all say nasty things about it because they're fucking idiots. Like, the, you know, like yes, because because this one bad uh, support Street Fighter night will end me. I'm done. I have to retire now, right? <laughs> right. But this is why I'm happy that I can talk with you guys about it and get feedback. Please leave comments on this video or tomorrow morning on the podcast. We're going to discuss it and... Hopefully I can get some live feedback during that, you know, open segment and see if people have any ideas of what happened tonight because I don't want it to keep happening. The, the truth of the matter is this. It's a very busy time of the year. 
right? We've got nonstop new releases. We've got ongoing playthroughs. We've got new games coming out. We don't need to play things like Street Fighter as much or whatever it may be. If you guys want something else and would rather see and support something else, I'm totally okay with that. But I need to know. I need the feedback. All right? So let me know. All right? Now, also, tomorrow, in addition to those two streams, my review of Barbarian will go live over on DSP Reacts around noonish Pacific time. So give that a look if you're interested in my horror movie reviews. The review of Halloween Kills went live last night and now Barbarian tomorrow. So it's good. It's good reviews, good variety of stuff. I'm happy that I'm putting out extra content over there. I'll have two more reviews for you, Scream 6 and uh, Halloween Ends next week. And then I'm going to try to do even more for the end of the month. All right? All right, guys. Thank you so very much. Great streaming day overall when it came to chill vibes, good weather, gameplay progress, and me having a good time. I just hope that I can continue to do what you want. And if Street Fighter is not what you want, give me that feedback. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Have a good night. See you tomorrow for the podcast and, of course, for Assassin's Creed. Peace out.